And back with us from Sueco, we have Hannah Greer Brown. So good to see you, Hannah. And we have a special guest as well joining us from the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium, and that is Dr. Mike Krieger, who's the VP of Conservation and Sustainability. So good morning to both of you. Good morning. Uh, Hannah, I want to start with kind of a, a broad question. Uh, we're going to talk, obviously, about the zoo's efforts, but why is it that recycling is so important? Recycling is incredibly important. The decisions we're making at home every day to put something in the recycling cart actually have really significant local and global benefits. We help to contribute to clean air here in central Ohio uh, for all of us to breathe, but we're also conserving natural resources and protecting wildlife habitat around the globe. And that is where Dr. Krieger comes in, obviously, joining us from the Manatee Building, one of the, uh, the favorite places for so many guests, including my own children. Um, so, Dr. Krieger, I want to talk about the fact that the zoo is a big place. So let's get some numbers. How much do you guys recycle? We recycle a lot. In fact, in 2019, we recycled over 209 tons of material. And a lot of this material is the same kind of thing you can recycle at home. Glass, bottles, paper, cardboard, things like that. In fact, we recycle so much and we also compost that we have zero waste events. That's incredible. And you know, the fact that you're in the Manatee Building kind of leads to uh, the discussion about plastics and especially in our waterways. Uh, what are some of the dangers that you see? And in fact, I mean, you get a lot of animals that have, have actually been impacted by this, right? Plastics in our waterways is a really big issue. In fact, there are, there are rafts of plastics floating in the ocean that are miles wide. Right behind me, you see stubby and squirrel and scampi or manatees and buddy or hawksbill sea turtle. Well, these animals represent those who are affected by plastics in the, in the Gulf of Mexico, in our rivers and, and the, the oceans as well. Uh, we have a lot of, there, there's over 100,000 marine mammals, it's estimated, that get entangled in plastics every year. And we certainly have a lot of birds that get entangled in plastics. And if you just go out to the Scioto River, you'll see plastics along the shoreline. All of that is material that could have come out of the river and been recycled. And I also read um, on your website, recycling old cell phones helps protect gorilla habitats. Where's that connection? Yeah, so if you have your, your cell phones or any of these handheld devices, they have a metal in them that helps them operate called coltan. Unfortunately, their habitat sits on top of where you find coltan. So if you recycle your electronics, you're saving gorillas. We have a program here at the zoo called Gorillas on the Line. In fact, when you walk into the zoo past the turnstile, you'll see a box that has a picture of a gorilla on it. People deposit their handheld devices, their old Blackberries and their old phones and iPads and things like that. All of that is recycled. And you, Dr. Krieger, have been a longtime partner with Swaco in your My House exhibit, teaching kids you know, about recycling. You say the walls are even made of lunchroom trash there, and it really is about educating the younger generation, isn't it? Yeah, it, it absolutely is. Because, you know, when we talk to our field partners all over the world, whether they're studying polar bears or giraffes or elephants and rhinos, and you ask them, what can we do to help you? One of those things is to take care of our own backyard. What we do here affects wildlife worldwide. And so a big piece of that is recycling, something anybody can do. It's inexpensive, and it has a really big impact on wildlife and wild places. There you go. We want to recycle. We want to do it right. So RecycleRight.org, a great place to go for all the information. So Hannah, Dr. Krieger, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you, Robin.